What's going on, guys? It's your boy. He is profitable. Today's October 17th. We had a beautiful uh, bullish day in the S&P 500. I'm going to go over that breakdown with you. I'm going to show you the three entries I took and why I took them. Hopefully uh, it brings value to you. Let's get to it. These videos are meant for educational purposes only. Any trades taken in the financial markets are under your own discretion. The information taught should be demoed and only taken to live accounts under your own responsibility. E is profitable will not be held liable for anything you do with the information presented. All right, guys, so we're looking at the charts here from the weekly time frame. If you notice on the weekly time frame, we can see that the market uh, tapped into that weekly imbalance and then we saw a uh, bullish reaction from it. Uh, so let's get down further to a lower time frame. This is the daily. As we can see on the daily, we took out sell side liquidity that was taken. The market then reacted, um, took out sh uh, short term buy side liquidity. And then it took out sell side liquidity one more time. All right, so I want you to keep that in mind when we're looking at where we're at today. I want you to go ahead and think about what the market has done, what it has attacked uh, thus far, and what is left to attack. So if, as you can tell, we already took out sell side liquidity, which was the, uh, this uh, area here was a very important area. Not only was that taken out right here, but it it gave you an impulsive move up and it kind of played everyone out It made everyone think that the market was gonna turn bullish and then they turned it around and they took out sell side one more time so that's what actually took place and then you can see here that on uh, October 13th it was actually a pretty good reaction so let's go in further and I'll tell you what uh, I was thinking for today and why I took the trades today all right, so if we go down to one hour time frame, we can see where, um, again, on a higher time frame, this line over here, this was the higher time frame sell side liquidity. We can see that right where the market was taken. Then you can see that the market made it seem like it was ready to turn bullish again, but then it went after sell side one more time. So when I'm looking at, at this, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, they, they already took, this major key level here of sell side they went ahead and took out sell side again twice right so in my mind i say okay they're probably they're probably going to turn this around right and, and what gave what gave me another clue was the reaction that we had here on thursday off of that weekly imbalance you can see where the market just crashed hard to take out sell side and then we had an immediate impulsive move up so when i'm looking at price <coughs> from that level you know what i what i like to do is i like to mark the chart as far as where is discount and where is premium right so based off of thursday and friday's move we can see that that was discount and this is premium so based off of this information here you don't want to be a buyer in premium. You want to wait for price to come down into a discount for you to look for an entry. And that was my thought exactly. This is the way I was looking at the market. So then I went down to a 15 minute time frame and I started to look for 15 minute imbalances. I saw this one here, very, very nice and clean 15 minute imbalance. And then we had this 15 minute imbalance here so when i see uh you know when i'm marking these imbalances i'm not automatically assuming that price is going to touch them and react to it i sent sim i simply mark them and i wait for price to get to them and then i'm looking for a reaction right so again we saw that price went to the weekly imbalance we saw a heavy reaction from it it tapped into this one hour imbalance that's fine but from this level to that level right we have discount premium so you don't want to be a buyer up here when it's premium 
we don't want to be a seller down here so once i saw price come down to this 15 minute imbalance i started to look for an entry and this is where you, i started to pay attention to see what the market was going to do going into monday so i'm going to press play all right so it's immediately now let me go ahead and delete this here immediately when i saw that price came into this 15 minute imbalance and then gave me this five minute reaction this candle right here this strong bullish reaction i immediately got into some buys because in my mind again based off of everything we talked about we had already taken out sell side twice and then we had that heavy reaction from the weekly and now we were in a discounted area right so this and tapping right into that 15 minute imbalance so i got into some buys here all right and i'll show you guys the screenshots of my entries in a little bit so um i got into some buys here i got into a long position once i saw this candle i immediately bought and my stop loss was right there so as far as tp for this play um what i had marked is i had i, I had looked for opposite side imbalances and i had seen that we had this one hour balance to the opposite side so right there we're going to get that marked so that was actually my tp my first tp for that play let's go back to the five minute <clears throat> let's go ahead and play this out so this was asia now it's monday it's the next day All right boom market is playing its course you know i woke up around this time i already saw that i was in heavy profits as you can see very good and then i'm still waiting for my new york open right here boom so this play i still had opened again my tp was up here then i noticed as new york opens i'm looking at price and i immediately saw this five minute fair value gap right here all right so let's take this back a little bit it was like around here when i saw it all right so when i saw this five minute fair value gap i immediately marked it again i'm not a, i don't know if price is going to react to it but i, I mark it and i wait for price to touch it and once price touches that um poi i then watch and see what kind of reaction i get so immediately i knew that okay we're here this automatically becomes buy side liquidity, right? So we know that. And then we have some liquidity sitting down here in the form of trend line liquidity, right? So we can go ahead and move that down. Boom, very easy, all right? So now I'm watching. So I see that price on eight o'clock, 8.30 opens and it taps right into that five minute fair value gap and once it does we can, we what do we see we see immediately that it reacts to it so there's several ways to get in <clears throat> i'm not going to go into too many details on entries but you know based off of what you see here you know you can very easily figure out multiple ways to get in whether it is you know, a candle base entry, whether it's a one minute fair value gap entry, you know, this became a one minute fair value gap. So as soon as price taps right into that gap, boom, you get in and then you ride it up. So there's, there's several ways to get in. Um, you, you, that's something that you have to back test and figure out on your own. So let's go back to the five minute. That was my second entry right there. I had the same TP. Second TP was, so my entry was there stop loss right below that area and my tp was up here now mind you when i say my tp is there i don't close all my positions there uh, normally what i'll do is i'll close 40 percent let leave the other 60 running um if i feel like the price there's a high probability that price is going to continue to the upside um, if I'm unsure, then I might close 50 and let the other 50 run. So you can see that, I mean, immediately once the market opened, I mean, it was very bullish. Um, so in addition to that one hour, I also had 
uh, this 15 minute, um, sorry, right here. I had this 15 minute imbalance marked. All right, so I'm, I'm closing positions. Every time price is touching the opposite PD array, um, you know, the opposite imbalances, I'm closing partials, I'm closing partials, because you never know if price is gonna react from these areas and then flip bearish again, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta be mindful of all of that. Once price went through this one hour, boom, delete it. You know, we had a, I had another 15 minute mark right here, right here, right? So I'm closing positions there. Once price breaks right through it, boom, delete it. Doesn't matter to me anymore. <clears throat> At that point, I'm just paying attention to what the next area is doing. So this is where price started to dance towards the end of morning session all right so once it once we start once i started to see this retracement i looked for another entry i was still bullish for the day right because i know because price price already proved to you that it was bullish we tapped into that weekly balance we saw the reaction we went into a discount uh, discounted area so what am i looking for right now i'm looking for these this buy side liquidity that's sitting up here. That's where I'm, I'm looking at price. All right, where this is price, this is where price is headed. So the day is bullish. And if you see a retracement, you know, don't look at it like, okay, I'm gonna start getting into sales. No, you know that that's how retail is looking at this. They're looking to buy bottoms and sell tops. So, you know, you gotta do the opposite. So to, when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this as, sell side liquidity right that's sell side liquidity right so that's where i got in on my next entrance i got into a long position here um, i went for the 50 percent of the imbalance if you want to see that this is what it looks like that's where i placed my order at 50 percent of the imbalance just a little bit above it just for um you know as far as a broker i wanted to make sure i got into the play so let's press play price tapped right into it perfectly i got into the play my first tp was at this high right here which took a little bit to get into it but then it tapped right into it perfectly you can see that right here once a day it's completed boom so guys those were my three entries the one I took during Asia, the one I took during the morning of NY, and the one I took during lunch. Those were the reasons I took them. I hope this video was insightful. Um, again, what I would recommend you guys to do is try to simplify the way you're looking at a chart. And just like I continue to tell people in my Telegram channel, look at liquidity, focus, you know, as far as where is liquidity sitting, what did they already attack, and what is left to be attacked. Then mark your zones, wait for price to tap into your zones, and wait for a reaction. You know, there is no rush to get into any plays. You know, at, at this point, at this stage, if you want to be profitable, you have to look for confirmation. If you have no confirmation, then it's because you know, you have a strong indication based off of your analysis that your entry is right. Just like here, when I got in in that 15 minute imbalance, I didn't really need so much confirmation because the way price action moved was my confirmation. All right, so again, hope this video was insightful. You guys have a good night.